It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Home Bargains in the UK have launched a beer range. A craft beer range that I'm really excited to show you. Uh, I was just wandering around my local. I'm a bit of a bargain shopper. I like to walk around your, your home bargains or your pound stretchers or your pound shops or your, your Iceland supermarkets, your Lidl, your Aldi's. I've just got that bargain shop of kind of mentality I suppose so um, walking around home bargains I've been buying beer in home bargains for for years and years uh, some of the reviews on YouTube man's brown ale and Robinson's brown ale or you know all of these kind of weird and wonderful beers Lancashire bomber you'd always find these beers for a pound which would hobgoblin you'd find in home bargains now they've decided to bring out their own range of beer. £1.20 for the large 440 milliliter cans. This is their craft lager. We have a Session IPA at 3.9% ABV. And then we have a Hazy IPA. Oh, they're all called Taproom as well. Taproom Craft Beer. Quite a nice name. Quite a nice name, I must admit. That's 3.7% ABV for a hazy IPA. Then you have Perch Rock Pale, a Session Pale Ale at 4.8% ABV. So higher ABV beers in a 330ml can. And a Dovestone IPA at 4.8% ABV. Let's start off with a lager. I'm going to get straight into this because it could be a long video. I'm going to, I'm going to try and limit um, each beer review to two minutes. So without further ado, Taproom British Craft Beer Selection Craft Light Lager at 2.8% oh, ABV. Wow. £1.20 for the big cans. I think I paid less than a pound for the, for the smaller cans. Blimey, that is a light lager, isn't it? My goodness me, look at that. I hope they haven't spoilt it too much by... I hope they've left some margin. And what I mean by margin is I hope the brewer has had some money to get some flavour out of the beers. Now, what I mean by that is... TJ Morris, the owners of Home Bargains, will say to some of these contract brewers, can you brew this beer for X amount of money? And I hope the X amount of money leaves them enough room to produce something a little bit decent. We've got a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation, slightly hazy looking beer. The, the strawest of the straw colored beer and that is very light looking for a lager. Let's get the aroma. Lemony, bit spicy. Where we are at the moment uh, the unfortunate situation of um, some people did okay out of the the situation, the 2020-2021 situation where everybody has to stay at home, um, or a lot of people have to stay at home. Um, some people did okay, some people didn't do, do you know okay at all, and and they're really kind of you know really counting the pennies if you like. It's really unfortunate what's happened. So I'm reviewing these beers with those lovely people in mind that not, by no fault of their own have fallen on the wrong side of poverty. And these shops are a lifesaver. I've never been one for having money at all in my whole life. So I'm used to 
shop in in Lidl and Home Bargains and Pound Stretcher and all of these wonderful places. You can find some amazing stuff in these places, by the way. Much more interesting, I think, than your Marks and Spencers and your Waitrose. Um, but there's always a variety of new stuff in there. But yeah, but, um, so I'm going to be... I'm going to be very, very open-minded with this, with these beer reviews because I'll be honest, of course, if it's utter trash, I will tell you because I don't want you to waste your money, but it's not bad. <laughs> Pardon me. It's a little bit hoppy. It's light. It's refreshing. It's drinkable. It's carbonated. Yeah, if you're looking for a light lager, 2.8% ABV, that would be my only criticism. 2.8% ABV for a craft lager is rather light. But it's okay. It's okay. If you're looking for something light, this could be it. Let's move on. I'm going to try and rattle through these beers for you. Right. Um, here's, the, here's the big mistake. Um, probably because Home Bargains have never made a craft range of beers before. And we've got a Session IPA here at 3.9% ABV. And you've got a full-blooded IPA at 0.2% less at 3.7% ABV. So the actual Hazy IPA is lower in ABV than the Session IPA. Never ever seen that before, ever in my life. That's probably a mistake on Home Bargains' path. And if you're watching anybody from Home Bargains, perhaps you can correct that. I think you need to correct that. I think the Session IPA should be lower in ABV than the Hazy IPA. So with that in mind, we're going to have to review the Hazy IPA first. Because it's lower in ABV. And I was always taught as a beer judge um, that... You need to, if, you, if you've got IPAs side by side and you don't know which one to do first, choose the one with a lower ABV. So here we go then. People who have been guessing uh, who have been brewing these beers for them, um, as somebody in the beer industry and with somebody, and, and with connections, I have connections in the beer industry, I know who have brewed these beers. Um, Robinson's Brewery being one and uh, Glen Affric Brewery being the other. I know um, Glen Affric produced the Perch Rock Pale. Uh, it says Brewed on the Mersey, where they're from. Uh, my connection is not from Robinson's or not from Glen Affric. It's an independent connection that have told me who produces these beers. So anyway, let's rattle on. Um, one finger white head, slightly hazy looking beer, good levels of carbonation, aroma. Yeah, that smells okay. That actually smells okay. It smells pretty good. For that £1.20 you're paying, it smells like a bargain. Let's see if it tastes like a bargain. Smells better than it tastes, but still, I'm still going to say, ah, uh, I don't know, one more taste. Ah, it's a little bit cabbagey. There's a little bit of DMS in this, unfortunately. Um, it's an off flavour in the beer. Ah, bit of a shame. Let's let's see what it's like with the whole can poured in. Bit better. Oh, there's a 
there's a nasty aftertaste. There's a nasty aftertaste that comes through on the back end. It just spoils it. You're thinking to yourself, yeah, it's doing okay, it's doing okay, it's doing okay, it's doing okay, and then wallop, it gives you this bit of a nasty aftertaste on the back end. <sighs> How can I put this? I'm trying to be really fair. I'm trying to be really, you know, I'm trying to be diplomatic to the people who have fallen on the wrong side of the fence to this. You know, you, you might have been the person who went from spending six or seven pounds on a can of craft beer to now only being able to afford a, a beer at one pound or two pounds. And I really feel for you, I really do. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm not going to try and pull the wool over your eyes because you're used to drinking that five, six, seven, eight pounder can of beer. You're going to buy this hazy IPA and you're going to be like, this is nothing like what I've been drinking. But because of that, there's a reason because of that. And that's because you're not, you know, it's it, it's not five or six or seven or eight pounds. It's one pound. It's one pound. And to try and produce a hazy IPA at one pound a can is like jumping through fire and not expecting to get burns. You know, it, it, it's it's really difficult to do. If you're that desperate for a beer, and you can close your eyes and you can imagine, there's a bit of mango. There's a bit, let's look at the positives. There's a bit of mango. There's a bit of grapefruit. It's just the astringency on the back end. If you can, if you can overlook that astringency, then by all means go for it. Right, moving on to the um, session IPA, the Hopster. Uh, now, I believe this is brewed by Robinsons. Here we go. You might be one of these people who you can afford a five or six pound beer, and you, you know, and you, but you still don't mind jumping into home bargains every now and again, and you're going to try these beers. But what I would say to you, what I would say to that is, try not to be over critical. Try not to be over critical. Try not to be over. Um, try and put the price in mind. Keep telling yourself if you're a reviewer, or if you're somebody who writes stuff on Untapped or whatever. Put it in your mind that. It's only a quid. It's only a pound or two for a for a can of four forty beer, and it's so difficult for these breweries to get to try and get that margin right and to try and squeeze every ounce of flavour out of a beer for one pound twenty a can. It's extremely difficult. It really is. So beer in the glass with the Hopster Session IPA. You can see there's a little bit of haze going on. Good levels of carbonation. One finger white head. Aroma. Full of diacetyl. Full of diacetyl. Uh, this been this is beer. I, I can uh, sometimes I can't help it as a beer judge. Um, You'd be you'd be sending this, but you wouldn't even be rating this beer as a beer judge. If I was sitting at a table with a pen and paper, asked to score this beer, um, I would be sending it back um, to the judges, saying, "There's no way I can judge this beer. It's unfair on the brewery." I say it's be I say it's unfair on the brewery. Maybe you would you would just give it a load of zeros. Um, What I will say is if if you don't mind a bit of butterscotch in your beer, then this is for you. If you're the type of person who doesn't mind a little bit of butterscotch in this in their beer, um, it's a butterscotchy taste, it's a little bit of bitterness on the back end, a little bit of sweetness. It's a bit of a mess to be honest, it really is. It really is a bit of a mess.
Right. I'm trying to be as fair as I can. I'm trying to take my judge's hat off. Right. Short on cash, not much money, gone into home bargains. Um, there's a little bit of grapefruit taste in there. There's some butterscotchy, buttery tastes in there. If if you can drink that sort of beer, if you're happy to drink, if if you've bought beers in the past and you've gone, ooh, that's a nice butterscotch flavour, <clears throat> then you probably you probably might like this beer. You probably might like this, and um, you'll probably enjoy it. But for anybody who, who understands diacetyl, and if anybody watching who understands off flavors, off off flavors, and diacetyl and beers that have been rushed, don't bother. Unless you're absolutely desperate, of course. Um, next beer. So that one's done. Uh, I think we're going to go with the. Uh, Let's go with a Glen Affric. Let's go with a Glen Affric. Now, I'm thinking this might be a bit better. I'm thinking this might be a bit better because, um, in fact, I think it was the same money, one pound twenty, but the ABV is higher, and I think the brewer's got a little bit more wriggle room with the ingredients they can use. Because um, they're producing a smaller can of beer for the same money. So there might be a little bit more wriggle room here for a touch of quality. So this is your Taproom Craft Beer Perch Rock Pale Session Pale Ale. 330 can. 4.8% ABV. Number one, limited edition microbrew number one. Right, light, straw coloured, amber, I'm gonna say amber, not, not straw coloured, amber coloured beer, one finger white head, a little bit of carbonation going on, let's get the aroma. A smokiness to it. I've got it like a, a, a strange smokiness coming from it. Spicy, peppery. It's so tough for these guys. It's so tough. I mean, some of you, some of you viewers out there, you've seen the collaboration we did with with Glen Affric Brewery, the Stone the Goza. Which is absolutely fantastic. A top, top class gozer that we went and brewed with Glen Affric. And, and then they're, they're trying their best to produce a beer, a canned craft beer for £1.20. Where the margins are so tight and it's, it's next to impossible, it really is. I'm starting to wonder... Are there any benefits in posting this video? I'm, I'm even starting to wonder, do I just scrap the whole video? Because I don't think it's fair to the brewers, to be honest, to be, to be asked to be asked to try and produce a beer at £1.20 a can. It's, it's, just, it's just so tight for them. You're paying labour, you're paying rent, you're paying, you know, it's, it's next to impossible. Anyway, let's, let's dive into this. <sighs> oh my goodness me, where do I start with this one? Um... It's undrinkable. It's completely undrinkable. Oh my goodness me. I've never tasted anything quite like this in my life as a beer reviewer. Oh my goodness me, what is that? Ah, oh, da. What 
I'm not blaming, again, I'm going to say this, well, are you, I'm probably like a blooming scratch record at this stage. I'm not blaming the Brewers. The Brewers are given a remit. They're, we're going through one of the toughest economic situations that we've ever faced as a country. So when home bargains come calling, saying, can you produce a beer at £1.20, a can... I'm not blaming the brewers for taking this on because <laughs> we're in the, one of the toughest financial bombshells that has ever hit this country. And, and I'm not blaming them. It's just... <sighs> I'd rather have a glass of lemonade, I think. It, it, it's, it's just terrible. It's terrible. Astringent, bitter, just terrible, just terrible. I just don't know how to explain that beer in the glass. Um, oh, blimey. Last one, last one. Um, Taproom, British Craft Beer Selection, Dove. Dovestone IPA India Pale Ale, 4.8% ABV. Here we go. Uh, I don't know who brews this one. We'll have a little look now, see if we can work it out. You know the worst thing about this? The, the, the worst thing about this is that there's some ama amazing brewers out there um, doing amazing things. And your mate might have been drinking amazing beer from a can. And, he's, and he said, go out and find some craft beer in a can. You'll love it. You'll love it. And, and by mistake, they might... <laughs> see this stuff in home bargains and they might pick it up this this stuff is the type of stuff to put you off craft beer forever you'll, you'll never kind of you'll never want to return to it you'll never want to go down that road of of producing or, or drinking good beer ever ever again and that's just you dipping your toe in the water if you're watching this video because you've bought this and you're wondering what you're drinking, not just this can, but the, all of it, give something else a chance. Give something else a chance. I've, I've gone down this whole... This, I've, got, I've, I've gone down the, the route of this video of, of trying to... And it's probably a mistake on my part. I've gone down this whole route of trying to to justify a one pound can of craft beer one pound twenty can of craft beer and it's literally it's impossible to justify i'm looking at my bar i'm looking at all these amazing beers out of my bar and wondering i'm wondering why i'm standing here entertaining this stuff Ah, as I say that, as I say that, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. A little bit of sweet malt, a little bit of hoppiness, a little bit of bitterness. Nothing, no off flavours. Ah, okay. Slightly lemony. This isn't bad. Dovestone IPA, brewed in the Pennines. That's not bad at all. Uh, brewed in small batches at an award-winning microbrewery in the South Pennines. But they won't say, they don't tell you who's brewed this beer. Right, um, the winner the winner of this whole thing for me is Dovestone IPA. 
Dovestone IPA. Not the best beer you'll ever drink in your life from a can of craft beer, but if you're on a budget, it's all right. Poof, that was a slog. I'm not gonna lie, that was a real slog. That was one of the most difficult videos we've ever had to produce on the channel because some of the beers just have been shocking, absolutely shocking. Um, I don't think this, this range of beer will be around for long. Um, I think, Home Bargains, TJ Morris, whatever they're called, will realise that you can you can put this stuff in a can at £1.20, but you'd be hard-pressed to sell it. You'd be really hard-pressed to sell it. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please comment, please subscribe, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!